guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, hope you guys are doing well. Things have been pretty damn insane right now in my life. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, please do because that's where I like update the most things that's going on in my life as well as I Instagram story quite a bit so if you guys are following me on Instagram then you might already know what this whole like video is about I actually got the chance to try out this perfume workshop and it's really interesting so this company is called Oola Lab and it is founded by this really renowned nose here uh, where I live in Singapore and he is the, the guy behind really famous scents that you don't even know you know hotel lobbies and like um, here we have a really large and well-known shopping center called Ion Mall and this mall has like a very specific scent like when you smell it when you step inside that mall like you know you're at Ion Mall like that's how distinct that smell is and it smells pretty much just it just smells expensive basically and he is actually the dude behind the scent and that really piqued my interest because I freaking love that scent guys like it smells literally bougie AF so I mean I like that smell so when I found out that he was actually this is kind of like his side project to his main company and they create um, signature scents for really renowned buildings or companies so for example uh, let's say Shangri-La or something wants to have a signature scent that is scenting their entire I don't know lobby or something then they would go to this guy so Ula Lab is basically his kind of passion project that he turned into a mini little company what they're all about is kind of like mixing and personalizing your own sense. Going back to his story of like how he would personalize these signature scents for certain places and certain companies, he wanted to kind of like employ the same philosophy to us, like regular people who want maybe like a signature scent but you don't want Becky over there to freaking smell like you as well. So you want something totally unique and for yourself. I was really interested, so I went for one of their perfume workshops, which is, it's pretty expensive, I guess. I think it's like $88 um, Singapore dollars, and it's about an hour-ish. And what they do is like they walk you through this whole thing, and I filmed the whole process. So I'm gonna splice through some clips right over doing is we're just writing down the notes and we're gonna put a drop of like um, a drop on each of them and then smell them together and see if they actually like work as a scent so let's do that
on my workshop and it was a really cool experience. To me, I felt that even though it was done by essential oils, each kind of like dropper houses more of like an accord as opposed to like, I feel like if you were to just smell the essential oil itself, it would smell completely different. I'm sure it has been refined into some sort of accord so that it's easier to mix. That's why anyone can do it, be it whether you're like a, I don't know, perfume aficionado or just like someone who wants to try out something new, I guess. So I got mine and if you do the workshop, you get like a, it comes with the workshop like a 20 ml bottle of what you've made and what's really cool is that you can actually enter like the percentages and like what notes you put in into their database and if for example you kind of like finish up the 20 ml you can just order it online like the exact kind of combination um, the exact fragrance that you've made because they will you can input it and they'll keep a record of it so I thought that was really cool so you don't have to come in here all the time. Like once you've done it once, you can always order that scent again. So overall, I had a really fun experience. Um, the place was super cool looking. I thought the decor was like uh, top notch. And I actually really like this, the apothecary or like sciencey style bottles that they have because everything is kind of based on the periodic table. To be honest, I guess the person who was conducting the workshop was not super well versed in perfumes in general so she was mostly reading off the nose which I don't have an issue with even though she was, I mean she kind of was running the workshop but over here in Singapore especially we don't have a very passionate or really in-depth kind of like perfume scene so most people in fact I would say a good 99% of the population here they tend to just wear perfumes to just smell good or like smell nice they like the idea of personalization but they're not really into the nitty-gritty of things so when I ask her things about like how you know these particular scent accords are you know derived or they distilled or anything like that she couldn't really answer me and if I asked her like oh so that what kind of oud is this or what sort of white flowers is inside this particular white flower accord uh, she was uh, kind of like unable to answer those kinds of details which I guess um, if you are going in there with the intent to learn something or to be like a personal perfumers workshop from a master perfumer that's not what this is about this is strictly from what I've experienced is strictly just for you to kind of be your own chemist and mix your own kind of like scent profile. Calling it a perfume workshop is not exactly um, accurate in the sense that like you don't really get to learn much about like the perfuming process or like a perfumer's process but nevertheless it's still tons of fun. I had a blast. So my scent which is over here. So you walk away with this kind of like bottle and it has the, oh my god, please do not mind my gross ass ales. Um, it's been a rough week and I haven't had the chance to do them, so um, yeah, just, just ignore that, just ignore that. Right, so we have the label, which is their logo, which is Ula Lab, and then they actually print your name, as well as the concentration of the perfume underneath. So this is an eau de parfum and I obviously named it after myself, the Broadwalk. I mean, I, I could have thought of something more unique, but at that point of time, you know, we were kind of strapped for time and I didn't want to make it, I don't know, I don't want to make it more complicated than it already was. So I'm just using a little artificial light, which is probably not the best because it's coming from my phone. So um, we'll, we'll have to make two for now, we'll have to make two. They will actually give you the formula when you are there. You have free reign as to like what you would like to create basically. So if you have something already in mind that's actually a lot better. Is it going to be something more aquatic, light and floral? Or if it's going to be something more oriental and dark and deep? All of them will be out of Parfum concentration. And it's pretty strong. 
I would say I get a good seven to eight hour wear, which is not bad actually. When I first started out, I actually mixed a lot more things. I wanted to incorporate the notes that I like, which was like aldehydes. I wanted some iris. I wanted some amber. Perhaps a little bit. I threw in a bit of white flowers as well at the top. Also, I added a touch of oud at the base in my initial batch, just to kind of like roughen up the amber a bit and stop it from being too kind of molten. It didn't really transition the way I thought it was going to transition. It was kind of a mess. The second time I took out the white florals, I replaced it with a lighter floral and I actually kept the oud but I, I decreased the amount. It still was really messy. You see the thing is you only have kind of three tries ultimately. You can definitely mix on your hand as well to see how it smells like. I suppose you can ask for additional vials but you kind of only get three tries in this particular workshop so I decided to err on the side of caution. This is basically just, um, I would say maybe four ingredients, mostly amber. I mix in a bit of orris and a whole heaping load of aldehyde at the top. At the base, I also mixed in a few drops of their oud to stop it from being too powdery, if you know what I mean. I freaking love the scent, guys. Honestly, this is me. The aldehydes give it a really clean, kind of soapy, but really, really effervescent quality. I like their aldehydes. It's not as sparkling as like Chanel's, but it is less sharp. The Oris butter really makes it kind of creamy and adds that kind of waxy texture that I really liked. Oh my god, when it dries down, the amber is just so freaking good. It is honestly so sweet and warm, slightly woody as well. It's really kind of grown up and I'm really really happy with it. Ultimately, would I recommend this workshop? Definitely, I had a lot of fun doing it and it was a little bit stressful because I didn't want to walk out with like a fragrance that I hated. I really enjoyed myself. Um, I would have enjoyed myself a lot more if I was in a group or if I had some friends to go with me. I went there by myself. It was still okay but it would have been a lot more fun if I had, you know, friends to kind of have a second opinion on and stuff like that. If you and your significant other want to do something cute for like Valentine's Day or an anniversary or something. This is really, it's great. Like there were actually quite a few couples who were doing it and they looked like they didn't really give a shit about fragrances but they enjoyed themselves and that's I guess, that's the point of this workshop. Anyone can freaking mix like a couple of drops here and a couple of drops there and have a perfume. I had a great time doing it. Uh, I don't know if I'll do it again but I think I might purchase this exact fragrance that I made myself again because I was super happy with how it turned out. If you guys are in Singapore, um, you can just check out their website. Actually, even if you're overseas, I think they do sell their own kind of like private line of perfumes. If you're in Singapore, I suggest you try it out. I mean like you and your pals just go in there and whip something out. Who knows, you might turn out really really liking the fragrances. Yeah, and that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful somewhat. Who knows? But I will see you guys next time. Bye!